Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something shaked. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. Because I'm the hurt child. Became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. All week, been finishing things, cleaning up more, started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel light. Like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. Okay. So you were saying about that part, the beating myself up part? Yeah. It's... It does happen. You know, that just not feeling good enough again. You know, the part's just not feeling good enough and and just beating myself up. Mm -hmm. Instead of having that self-compassion and um and I've been finding out too that taking things personally is something that I do. So I don't know if that has anything to do. Well, it kind of does with the part, you know, just not feeling good enough. So taking things personally and then beating myself up, it kind of like all goes together. Yeah. I think last time, and correct me if I'm wrong, or if you remember something differently, that we were identifying beating myself up as a protective part, a part that protects perhaps from this feeling of not good enough. And I think that you had come to know beating myself up and had got to a good place with it. And it made some, I don't know, made some progress in uh, building trust with it and just seeing it for seeing its protective role as a and the positive intention behind it. Yeah, and, and when we continue to work on the parts and things do become more um oh like my awareness is right there more mm -hmm. when things happen or, I mean, that's what happens, correct? I mean, that's, I don't know. It's like my eyes are open more and different things I see more. Okay. You see more, you see the dynamics of the parts? That and the things I'm, that, that I'm doing, you know, and yeah, different parts coming up and, you know, like, um, the part that just takes things so personally, mm -hmm. you know, that 
comes up. That came up a few times this week. And maybe that part was, you know, I'm sure it was always there, but I just kind of, I don't know if it's acknowledged that part more or figured out that that's what, you know, the part was doing, I guess, maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Put, put put words to it, maybe. I mean, I haven't heard you express that before. Yeah, and I'm trying to stay with the part, you know, like like you had talked about last week, to um, instead of I... So instead of yeah. using I instead of using I language to to describe them as parts. Yeah. Yeah. So that that was an awareness that that when you talked to me last week that I um I guess I didn't realize you know that that was happening or didn't yeah, I mean, see, that's... or didn't want to see it. I don't know. But. Yeah, well, I mean, when it's when when we're not seeing it, we're blended, and and when we're seeing it, we're we're unblended usually. So, but yeah, I mean, that's the big. I think that's the major paradigm shift in IFS is acknowledging our multiplicity and seeing that we're made of parts, but we, but I am not this part. I am not. I am not the part that beats myself up. I am not the part that doesn't feel good enough. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm a system, or or I'm self. You know, I'm this I'm this compassionate, curious. I I shouldn't say part, but you know that's a different. That's not like the other parts. Does any of that correspond yeah, with they- how how you're experiencing it? Um, can you explain that again, okay. <laughs> please? Yeah, I know. I packed a lot in. Um, all right. So the big paradigm, radical th- thing that makes IFS different from everything else is that it is accepting and acknowledging that we are multiple, that I am not one thing. I am a system of things. And those things are parts and self. And so the parts are the part that beats myself up, the part that doesn't feel good enough, and on and on. And the self has this kind of characteristic of always being compassionate, curious, connected, So maybe some of me has, well, I'm sure it has been in the self, you know, to. Yeah, absolutely. To see, to see more of that happening, I guess. Right. Every time that you get curious and your heart opens up to these parts and you want to learn about them and, and you're able to provide for them, you're in self. And. When they're running the show, on the other hand, when when all you can feel is uh, I'm not I'm worthless, that's when a part has has blended. It's kind of pushed the self out of the way, and it's it's kind of colored our consciousness and with that, the way that it's that, feeling. Yeah, and that does that does happen when a part of me gets angry. You know, it's like I I don't think of anything else. You know, the part's just angry and, you know, thinks of what can it do to to cover it up or or punish someone else. Right, right. Right. Yeah, and the more that you're able to see that as a part, go to it as a part, learn about what it really needs, learn about what it protects, learn about the the hurt exile behind that anger, the more you're able to help it relax. And then rather than anger, angry part having to blend with you, it can just tap you on the shoulder and 
kind of let you know in a, in a more relaxed way. Yeah, that may be one, because I know anger, the angry part um, has been coming up this week. Mm -hmm. But again, the kind of sometimes the parts, it's like one goes into another, just mm -hmm. like with feelings. It's like to me, it's like they just one goes into the other. But, um, you know, and I know there there's different parts. Didn't I have an age? Did I have an age when we were talking last week? I thought, was it a 12 year old or maybe was it younger? I don't know if it was last week. I and, am not sure. I, I probably have it written down. No, that's but. okay. I just, I don't remember that. <laughs> and, were, and were you thinking that that was what the parts age was? I, I had thought it might be it wasn't last week that you had mm -hmm. asked me. Because sometimes another question I ask is, how old does the part think that you are? And that's and sometimes you'll hear a part that thinks that you're 12. And then that's that's another interesting just insight yeah. into, into their perspective. Sometimes I can feel like I'm 12, but that doesn't mean that the part thinks I'm 12, right? Because that's me feeling it, not the part. <laughs> Correct? Um, no, I, would, I would assume that that means that you are blended with a part that thinks that you're 12. Or, or a, a part is telling you that you're 12. Yeah. Really. Just, like if I, just like if I said... If I said, I feel angry, again, kind of translating that it would mean, well, really there's a part of me that's angry or I'm blend. Yeah, it's, it's telling me I'm angry or I'm blended with it. And so the same would be with a, if you felt like you were 12, that would indicate a part that thinks that you're 12 or a part that thinks that it's 12 and is blended with you has taken over your your more clear perception. Yeah, those are those are all wonderful places to to investigate, you know. That's that's those are all trailheads, all things that you can learn more about and yeah kind of set, set them straight in a way. Hmm. Lots of, lots of fun work. Yeah. It can be exciting though. It's. So what uh, are we we're going, do you think we need to continue on the beating myself up part or? That is, it's your call. What part feels like it needs your attention? And the only reason I would, the only reason I would flag that one is because we worked on it most recently. And so it might be easier to, to pick it back up. But if you have other parts that feel like they need your attention more, then you can go to any of them. Well, there's a part that that's been angry mm -hmm. that gets angry, and the part that doesn't feel good enough. Mm -hmm. So the other part gets angry, mm -hmm. angry yeah. at the circumstances, or yeah. And I know we've talked to some parts that get angry at circumstances, like parts that are angry at the people at work or whatever, or for example, you know, wanting, yeah, them, to, wanting them to listen. Up. Yeah, some of that came up again. Mm -hmm. um. And if I can just make one more kind of hypothesis here, it sounds like most of these protectors, beating yourself up, 
getting angry at others. It sounds like just from what you've told me, they they are orbiting the not good enough feeling. Mm-hmm. And that until until you've unburdened that part that doesn't feel good enough, that these protectors kind of have to do what they continue to do because they it's their job to to prevent that feeling in you. So probably again the part that's not feeling good enough. Yeah. Yeah. And there were times the part feels okay, like what people say and do doesn't affect it. Mm -hmm. Um, Then I know different things can, can come up, you know, that that part doesn't feel good enough in. Mm-hmm. Or good and yeah, feel good enough. Yeah. Whether it's not being included in stuff. Mm-hmm. And sometimes the part can, like I said before, that it can feel just okay with that. You know that that it's okay. And that, I don't know if that's when, when I am in self, I can feel that the part can f- be there, but not be overwhelming. I don't um, know if I'm making sense, but. Uh, I'll try to repeat back. It sounds like sometimes it definitely doesn't feel okay. Uh, other times it's. Other times it does feel okay and it's not overwhelming. Yeah. So does that mean when I'm more in self? Um, I don't know. And I think the answer to that would be something that you, that you can find out. You can find out when you're in contact with that part, like, oh, are you, are you feeling okay? Because I'm here and I'm, and I'm supporting you and I'm here for you? Or are you just feeling okay because this is a, for whatever other reason? Um, so we can learn all of that from the part. Hopefully the part cooperates. <laughs> yeah, most of them want to be known ultimately. And if not, that's okay too. So how do you notice it? How do you notice it in or around your body when it comes up? The not feeling good enough. Hmm. The only thing that I can think about when that part comes up that my body can get really tense inside, like, but Mm -hmm. then that that angry part. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So, because I haven't had, I mean, that's why my body's been really sore. I don't know. My body's been really achy, but I thought it was the weather, but, you know, maybe that's a way that that stuff is, you know, coming out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Maybe you can just think about a time recently when, when you felt like, yeah, that not, not feeling good enough part was very active. See what else you can notice about. Just what's going on in or around your body. I 
think that the tensing up. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, the, the tensing up, like ready for battle. Ready for battle. So that does feel like more of an angry energy. At the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the parts. I don't know. I'm I'm going more towards. As I'm thinking about it, the not good enough part. It seems like more the angry part that's maybe wanting to be heard more. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe the angry part doesn't doesn't trust or doesn't want us to go to the not good enough part or could be all kinds of reasons. So you can just talk to that part. How are you feeling towards the angry part right now? Right now, I'm feeling better about it. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, feeling... right now, I feel better about the angry part. You feeling curious to get to know it? Yeah. Because I think I know, but... <laughs> Apparently not, because, yeah, there's just different things that came up that, you know, the part just was just angry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you could just um, let it know that you're curious to know more about it. And maybe specifically let it, or you could ask it, um, kind of if it trusts you to work with the not feeling good enough part. Seems to be saying yes, but the, the parts do feel similar, like in a way, and that I guess that means they're blended. Could be, yeah. And sometimes, sometimes that's just normal for them to have very similar kind of states or overlapping. And the, there's a part that I guess felt picked on too, a part. And then that other part, not feeling good enough, comes in and. Yeah. And then another part, like, well, you, you should have known this. And then a lot of different things, the controlling mm -hmm. part and. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. Sounds like the whole the whole gang is back together. Oh, or at least they're having a party. <laughs> yeah, and you. Well, it's great. You're able to see. You're able to see those those connections. And a few things that happened were about work again. Okay. Um about the the anger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try asking the angry part. If you, you could try asking it two things. Um, is it, just ask it directly, is it protecting this part that doesn't feel good enough? Mm 
I'm not really getting an answer, but as I'm asking it, it's like I, I could feel like in my throat, kind of going down my, to my stomach, kind of a sensation like, I don't know. And I didn't feel that before. Okay. Until I asked the question. Did it feel like a loosening of tension or a higher, more tension? I think a little more. Okay. Yeah. Maybe just ask what the angry part wants you to know about itself. The angry part doesn't like when it's it's feeling like people are picking on them, picking on. Mm-hmm. And and how does how does it see its role of getting angry as helping with that? Sometimes it gets, I don't know if it's necessarily gets its way. And other times when the angry part comes up, it's not pretty. Because, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, things are done that, you know, not a good frame of mind. Out of anger. Yeah. Yeah. But then other times when that part comes up, there is more communication after, I guess, with the situation. It's brought out to the table, I guess, so it could be talked about mm-hmm. when, that, when that angry part comes out. You mean with with people in the external world? Yeah. So I don't know. Okay. So you said that when it comes up, it's not pretty. So again, just see if you can learn from the angry part. Why, why it does that? What is, what is it, was it, what is it afraid would happen if it didn't? If it didn't get, if the part wasn't angry? Yeah. If it didn't show up in that way and, and you, get your attention that way or use its energy that way? Just people walking all over it came to my mind. Mm -hmm. Being walked on. Yeah. Taken advantage of. Mm Mm-hmm. It's like it feels like it has to protect itself so yeah no one, no one can hurt it right it wants to protect from that feeling of of being walked on and letting yeah letting people get away with stuff mhm yeah so it's a protective part. It sounds like it. Mm-hmm. And what would it be like? Mm. And you don't have to answer this in, to me or in any detail necessarily, but what is that feeling of being walked on? Like what's what's bad about that? that I'm not good enough. Right. That's right. 
So the angry part is protecting not good enough. It's protecting you from feeling that. And that's, that's what its biggest, that's what its fear is, right? It's feeling not good enough. It doesn't want that for you. Just not. <sighs> yeah, not being good enough and. Yeah. I don't know that way people can't, like I said, walk all over. Yeah. Walk all over me, walk all yeah. over. And so see if you can show it some appreciation for its intention in keeping you from experiencing that pain of feeling not good enough. It seems okay. I'm not getting any. Mm -hmm. Maybe try asking it if you could, if you, Rachel, could go to the part that doesn't feel good enough and help it or heal it so that this angry part wouldn't have to work so hard, would it be open to that? At first, it seems like it was a little nervous. Mm -hmm. Then another part came in like, well, you'll be healthier. You know, you'll be and a that, little healthier. That may be. And, uh, and I think we should ask that part to step back, that part that has the, that's calculating your overall health. We, if this part's nervous, we don't want to push past. We don't want to try to argue it out of its its feelings. You know, if it has, if if it doesn't trust you to go do that work, or if it has more it wants to show you. You know, we don't want to just dismiss that because it's got an important job to do. And yeah, that that just that kind of always backfires, right? When we when we just push a part out of the way or say, well, or, or we let some other part say, no, it's for the best. So we're going to do it. We want to make sure we're always doing it with their permission. Yeah. I remember really clear one time, one time, <laughs> oh, I'm sure there were others, but when I was talking with you, how that, I thought one part wanted to do something and then I could just clear his day. It's like, no, the other right. part came in and it's like to be able to be that clear would be nice all the time. Right. And um, yeah. Yeah. So the, maybe go. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, there's a part that's like, feels like I, it has to fight for what it has to fight for things. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Is that the angry part? Or yeah, that, mm -hmm. yeah, that, yeah, that. So I, it's, it's when, you know, when you were talking before, it's like the part just sometimes just feels like it has to. It's being kind of stubborn too. Sure, you know, well, it's a fighter. I don't want to do this, you know. I'm going to be a stubborn little brat. And yeah, that's what it. That's what it does best. And I'm guessing it's been doing that for a long time, right? 
I guess so now that I. Yeah, you can ask it and you can ask it how it really likes its job. What would it, what would it rather be doing if, if you could help, if you could take some of the burden away from it and help that part that doesn't feel good enough? What would it rather be doing with its energy inside of you? When you first asked, it's like, oh, now I lost my train of thought. Um, Not that the part has to do it to survive in the world. I don't know if that's what, I kind of lost my, I can ask again if it would be helpful. Yeah. Okay. So what would this part rather be doing with its energy if it didn't have to work so hard? If you could help out the part that doesn't feel good enough. I don't know, enjoying life and taking care of me came up again. And I think that's come up before. Yeah, that's right. They are, they all have good intentions. It was taking care of you in its protective role. And if it, and if it had a new role, it'd still want to be on your team taking care of you. But in a healthier, better way. Well, right. that part's supposed to be gone out. Well, yeah. I mean, I agree that our our goal is to get to a place where we're working with with parts and in a in a more open, connected way. So, the part I was asking to get out was was the one that's kind of. I, I was concerned was like maybe arguing with it, like, well, well, we need to do this. So we're going to push past you, protector, you know. Sounds like a controlling part. <laughs> right. Or manager, a part that, yeah, a part that also has your best interest in mind, but they fight. So that's, that's what they do. And sometimes, the, you know, just as you were talking, it's like, but I want to be heard. You know, the part that wants to be heard. Yeah. So it, it, it you know, the part does speak up and get angry. Right, right. How does it feel? How do, Ask the part how it feels just being heard by you in this conversation. Is there more that it, is there more that it wants to tell you? Sad? I think a little sad there is yeah. there. Okay. You know, it's, it's like just wanting to be heard and You know, when something is not right, the part thinks it has to, you know, open its mouth yeah. all the and time. It's, and it's sad about all of that. Maybe it's not sad. I'm, I'm trying to ask it and. I thought it was sad at first. You could also ask if there's more that it wants to tell you. Protecting myself comes up again, and that's what, you know, we talked about. It's mm -hmm. protecting me. 
Right. Try asking it how old it thinks you are. Just a little child came, like a voice mm-hmm. was saying, a little, a little child. Right, right. And that's why it thinks it needs to work so hard to protect you. It thinks you're a little child. That didn't have, it felt like they didn't have a voice. Right. No, the part won't shut up. The angry part has more to say? It's like all of a sudden the part just wants to talk about how it it doesn't like this or doesn't like that and Yeah. And it used to be more quiet before. Yeah, I had that quiet part that the part that didn't speak up. Okay. Okay. And so, now, mm-hmm. yeah, just not having that voice. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let it know that 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 you're open to to hearing from those from those voices and those parts that didn't feel like they had a voice before. Just a thought came into my mind, but I I just don't even know if this has to do with it, but just listening to my mom yell at my dad a lot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like maybe there was a part. That felt it had to, or it wasn't being listened to either, and it. It didn't have a voice then either. I don't know. I'm just. Yeah. It's funny because the part does get angry, and but yet there's the part that doesn't like. angry situations and thinking about my mom it's like you know another part that could just cringe sometimes when there's anger around me right yeah but but yet I have the part that you know does get angry itself yeah I think I think that might be everybody we have the part that gets angry. We have the part that hates getting angry and hates this part of us that gets angry. We have parts that get scared in those situations and want to run and hide. Yeah. And and the part, yeah, it's like it. I, the part does not want a, people to get away with. Right doing things that aren't okay. Right. And that's just, again, it's protecting me, right? From mm-hmm. Yeah. And as we learned a little while ago, it, it's protecting you in the way that it would protect a little child. So go ahead and update it on your real age and just let it know that you're in a different time You have different resources now. Mm 
and different, I, I, I say tools, different tools mm-hmm. to use too, resources, mm-hmm. like you said. But the part, it's like, it feels like it's got to be the one to, to say it. It's got to be the one to, to open its mouth. Yeah. So, um, that may be, and maybe, maybe sometimes that's appropriate. I don't know. So I don't have any real opinion on that necessarily, but the fact that it feels compelled, the fact that it thinks it's protecting a child or that it feels really extreme and it kind of feels like it takes you over. Those are all things that, that. I think could be alleviated and you can check this out with the part by again asking it if you were to go to the part that doesn't feel good enough the part that felt like it didn't have a voice and heal them or unburden them to to make them feel good enough by by showing them that by giving them that that love that you have by by listening to the part that didn't have a voice and and giving it a voice, would this angry part be be interested in that? Would it feel so like it had to work so hard to speak up and to take over? I'm kind of getting a little teary-eyed. Like, it's like the answer is yes, and still not. Uh, I don't. I don't know if it's not trusting fully, but there was a glimmer of like hope. Yeah, you know, that's listening, what we're going for. Listening to you talking, it's like I think. Well, uh, I think. Um, there was a little sadness and tears. Yeah. But it was like a little bit of the hope. Yeah. Like that's what it wants. Right. Right. Good. And that might be all that we can do right now. And, you know, that might take, who knows how long that could take for you to, to work with this part, to build its trust, to keep, generating that hope and keep showing it you that you can work with parts that you can work with protectors that you can listen to it and just you know i don't know how long that might take but there is hope and you can work with parts and i i did feel that as i was listening to you mm-hmm. well the I mean, part felt it the part it was just yeah I mean, do you remember when you went to that five-year-old girl in the hospital and she was able to take the sling off? When she was able to what? Take the... Take the sling off. It was an unburdening we did with an exile part, with a young part. Oh, I'm confused. When you said sling... I was thinking the sling that I wore, I had to wear. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned when we unburdened her that the sling, that she was able to get rid of it. My goodness, my mind. What does that mean when I, I don't like remember some things? I hope that's only it, part of getting old. Well, it, maybe. Um, I assume it's because I, I think it happens to all of us. It's it's just... Um, it's jumping around. We're jumping around to lots of parts. And, you know, that... Like, you, you did have that experience with that young girl inside of you. And you can cement those relationships only by going back to them and, and, you know, 
letting them know that you're still there. And that might be part of the reason why these protective parts are less eager to trust you. If they, if they're saying, well, yeah, can you go to these young parts? Can you unburden them? I know that you can, we've seen you do it. And if, if that door closes, you know, if it doesn't, if the, if the communication, the connectedness doesn't stay open with the young parts, with the exiles, then it's, you know, one step forward, two steps back or whatever. And the, and the protectors still have to work so hard. That's just my guess. I could be wrong about all of that. Yeah, I do remember feeling good and, you know, yeah. connecting with that young part. And I I do, you know, the part, remember, it just feeling safe. And, right. and happier and not so alone. Mm-hmm. I do, you know, I, those parts... Those parts are all there. Right. And they did come out. Right. Yeah. So you might just ask this angry part what it needs from you going forward. The very first thing that came in my mind was not to leave it. Okay. What do you think about that when it says that to you? Like, how do you feel about that idea of not leaving it? That it's, there's an ab- a part that feels abandoned, doesn't want to be. Mm-hmm. Left alone. Yeah. I would have never thought that. And how do you feel about doing that with it? If it says don't leave me, are you okay with that? W- will you do that? No, I I, I can't leave the parts. It, it, they're a part of me. I. Well, I'll just... It thinks you can, right? It's worried about it. And if you, and what I just said a minute ago was, I think that might be part of the problem is that parts are feeling left. You're contacting them. And then, I mean, last week, the the beating yourself up part said the same thing. It said, don't leave me. And so, And most parts say that they want to stay in touch with you. That's, that's, that's what we're doing. We're going to parts to build a relationship. They don't want to be left by you. And so that's really the question. Can you, will you stay with this part? And that's through my work with you and... Ask it what it means for it. When it says, don't leave me, what what does it need from you specifically? What, What would that look like? to be with me all the time. I just hear something saying to be there with with it all the time. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. And how do you feel about the idea of that, of doing that? There's a part that, again, thinks it's, can't do it right. Hmm. Hmm. 
So it's concerned okay. that you that you wouldn't be able to be there for the parts, or n not doing it right. Because if I if the part was doing it right, again, I'm, and I know I've talked about this before too. You know, if the part was doing it right, and if I was doing it right for my parts. Yeah, so that part has a concern that you won't do it right or can't. Or know what to do in between mm -hmm. when they come but up. Right, but yeah, okay. Uh, we can address that. But at this moment, you are you are with the angry part, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you can remember kind of how we got to it, right? Checked in on where it is in your body and you listened to it. And when other parts maybe didn't want to listen to it, we said, no, we're going to listen to it anyway. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel a little funny, like my chest kind of, it's just. Like there's some part that's still fighting. Fighting, doing. Doing the work and doing it right. So maybe check with the angry part again. You might let it know that that you have a concern or that there are parts concerned that you won't do it right. And so maybe check with the angry part, ask it to be really kind of clear because before it said, be with me forever. And, and maybe, maybe you could ask it to be more specific. to give you more direction on what it would mean for this part and also in your own intuition of what doing it right would look like. Doing it right would be to be in like a constant contact with a different, you know, this part that comes up and and asking that part questions. Mm -hmm. And that's where it, the other part is, well, mm -hmm me not sure. Mm -hmm. And so that's what the angry part said. It said that you would need to be in constant contact. The right, because you had mentioned or, or the right, the right way. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of Awareness, you know, being really in tune and aware with those parts inside me and take yeah. the time to stop and and see what's going on, you know, and I yeah. don't know if, if journaling would help. I, I don't know. Check with the angry part. And I hear that you're just I hear that you're talking about being with a lot of parts. I just want to, you know, in the spirit of just one at a time, like just with the angry part, 
just trying to figure out what's right for it and for you with just this one part. That might kind of give you some clues and, and help us in work with other parts, but I know it could feel really overwhelming to think about how could I be with a thousand parts all the time, but just trying to figure out what it would look like to be with this angry part, what it would need, and giving it a try. Negotiating with it. It's like just to be there with it and hold its hand and it just, it wants to be heard, I guess, too. Yeah. You could ask if it feels like it has a lot more that it wants to share with you over time. I'm hearing yes, but to yeah. go slow. Mm hmm. Yep. Parts know what they need to heal. It's so just, it has a lot more it wants to share. It wants you to go slow and it wants you to be there consistently for it. Kind of like hold, hold that part's hand and. Yeah, exactly. Connected. So that's what I'd recommend is giving it a try again, negotiating with it, figuring out what's right, figuring out with this part, what's right for it, what's right for you. When it comes up in between, you're saying? No, I'm not. I'm saying what it's saying. Oh, I'm so, I misunderstood you. All right. It didn't. I mean, you, and you can correct me. Did it say to be with it only when it's activated? Or does it want you to hold its hand and be with it consistently? I took it as when it's, when the anger, when the angry part comes out to okay. be with it holding its hand. Okay. That sounds different to me than, than what it had first said of wanting to be with it constantly. But again, this is all stuff that you can negotiate with it. So you would learn from it and ask it what it needs. And if it's, if it says, no, I only need you to be there when I'm triggered. Okay. But if it says, I have a lot more to tell you, I want to go slow and I want you to hold my hand and I want you to be there with me constantly. To me, that sounds different. Well, if the angry, I guess the angry part's not out all the time, so. Right, right. It does want, want um, me to be with it. Right. So I, so it can be worked on. Right. Yeah. So will you do that? I will sure try. And then you can figure out if that works for you in that part or if it doesn't. And what parts of, and how, how it works well and what doesn't work. And it's all between you and it. I feel a little more peaceful, actually. Cool. Glad to hear right, it. Right now. I'm 
it kind of feels safe. Great. Yeah, just remember what it was telling you. It's got a lot to share. It wants you to go slow. It wants you to hold his hand. It wants you to be there for it, not just when it's feeling triggered, activated. I will. I will. Okay. work on that give it a shot you're doing great well thank you okay let me know how it goes I will and you have a good night okay you too thank you good night bye do you want to help bring more self energy to the world if you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way I'd love to hear your ideas join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Ivan, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube. And they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there. And give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you. <laughs>